Hello, friends. Welcome back to the Stanley Parable. The previous video was me going through the demo, which is entirely different content from the Stanley Parable. This is the main game. Um, also, have no fear. I've turned subtitles on. I found that in the settings. Um, so we should be good there. And uh, yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. I'll go quickly through my spiel from last time. I'm playing the Stanley Parable because it was highly, highly recommended by you guys, to my surprise, after I completed Portal 2. So we're going to play this game in between other Portal stuff and other other Half-Life universe stuff, basically. Because I still need to get to Black Mesa. There's some Portal 2 mods like Portal Stories, Mel, Portal Reloaded. Possibly some other ones that have been suggested. Um... And a bunch of other games, too, like Inside, Limbo, Subnautica, and there's probably more that I'm forgetting that you guys suggested, too. But those are the highest, most suggested uh, things from you guys after Portal 2. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going um, along that, that list of games. For now, we're going to play The Stanley Parable, which is a shorter experience. Let's get to it. It's a... The Stanley Parable within the Stanley Parable within the Stanley Parable within the Stanley Parable and just keeps going and going and going and going. Maybe that is a hint towards what this game is about. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Mm-hmm. Yes. Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Hmm. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-lifting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Aw, bless his heart. Stanley was happy. What a guy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say, Hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Aha! <clears throat> so I am playing as Stanley. Can I pick stuff up? I can't pick up that mug. Employee 429? Where is everybody? All of his co-workers were gone. Yeah. What could it mean? I hate Monday. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, <laughs> he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Who farted? Good. That's a good work cup. That's a good one. I haven't seen that one before. I like work. I just have... I just hate my boss. Oh. File? I don't know what that says. Okay, meeting room? Sure. Yeah, sure. Let's go to the meeting room. Where's that? Mm. Username. Access. Oops, I broke it. Knowing your city. Uh huh. Is that the meeting room? So there's a lot of papers strewn about, like, something happened. Something very frantic happened? Or possibly that leads to a hallway. Or possibly um, the janitor just hasn't been by in a while, you know? Possibly? I don't know. So many possibilities. 
I want to go there. Sails this quarter. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um... But... Am I... I'm sorry, my, my instinct is to not this do what you say. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Yeah, I Perhaps know. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, That's it. just to admire it. I just want to get a sodi pop. Employee lounge sodi pop. Mm. And games, I always just feel like, you know, the way that you're not supposed to go is extra. And if you don't ah, go yes, that way... truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. Yes. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Mm. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I'd also like to drink a soda pop. Please. Lime flavor, if you don't mind. Ooh. Yes. Really, really worth it being here Coffee in the room. Nut. That's room mine. So That's utterly Michael. captivating that even though all your co workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking <laughs> at these chairs and some paintings. <laughs> no, I really was. worth it. I wanted a soda pop, okay? Actually, now I but want a coffee. Eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Uh huh. What about up here? Ooh. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> Blueprints? Ooh, what are they doing out of here? Caution, do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. I don't think I was lying. Lying is bad. Disobeying is fine, though. Dang, what do they do at this company? Is that ever explained? Stanley doesn't know. All he knows is he pushes buttons. Warning, do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. It will cause death. Penalty for misuse of the cargo lift, 1,000. Penalty for jumping off, 5,000. But I'd be dead! Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Really? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Her? Who's her? This is it, her? Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To, to... Did the game crash? Your work aside. Oh, God. What the to hell? To let her back into your life. Weird. She's been waiting. Uh, who's her? Um, it's not GLaDOS, is it? Because <laughs> Stanley would be no match. Uh, that is pitch black. I don't want to go in there. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, I can go back. Cool. Okay. Um,. Hmm, what about that? Can I get there? No. Doesn't seem like it. Fine. I'll go in the pitch black. Ah! That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Hello? Hello? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Oh. Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Aww. They want to commit their life to you. Wow. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. I don't want to. You're a big jerk. Sorry, but you're in my story now. 
You big jerk. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Ah! Good morning, employee 427. Press E on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Press U. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Press M. No! I press Enter. Press all the other buttons except M. Press Z. Fine, press M. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. <sighs> Press four to watch TV. Okay. And so he began oh. to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. In, like, in a bad way or a good way? I mean, if you hate your job and your boss, then maybe it would be exciting in a good way. Press B to spend time with the boys. Stanley doesn't seem like the type to spend time with the boys. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Prepare dinner? All right. What do you want, honey? As he wandered oh. through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Baby? Tell your kids a story. There once was a man named Stanley. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Uh-huh. I don't want to be rude, but I I don't really like my wife. I would I really don't want to be in this room with her anymore. It's making me uncomfortable. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Uh -huh. Nothing has changed. Right. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. Go to sweeps. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. Mm. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button... Do not do it. Press zero to be at work in the morning. I think he's trying to trick me into just pushing the button, you know? Like, because he's challenging me. Like, you can't push. You can't not push the button. So then if I do push it, it's like going against what he says, which is like what I did in the first place. I think I, I could just like climb over this chair. You know? I could do that. If only Stanley had legs, he could climb. Hmm. I can't interact with anything else. Are you gonna say anything if I don't press the button? No? She's gonna leave me here in silence until I press the button? Is that how this is? Is that how this goes? 
At least my wife's gone. That's a bonus. She was creepy. All right, fine. You see, can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I don't know. Give him a mirror? Press C to question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. Yeah, maybe. And I tried again. <laughs> and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Uh. Did I die? <laughs> Did I actually die? Because it said, please die. So he just died? <laughs> what? Um, okay. <laughs> I can't tell if the narrator guy is actually sincere or not. Or he's just messing with gone. me. What could it mean? I don't know. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah. All right, so now it wants me to do something else, I suppose, huh? Is anything different? Looks the same. What if I go back? Be my valentine? Oh, I'm sure I'll be your valentine. Of course. It's kind of funny because it is Monday right now that I'm recording this. Same thing on there. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I might go in here again. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. There's something else I want to try in this uh, room wow. that comes up here. Yes, this room. What a beautiful room. It's glorious, what I know. What a gorgeous gorgeous room yeah thank goodness okay. stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room life Fuel. without having experienced oh. this room was now too horrible even to consider yes but eager to get back to business stanley took the first open door on his left now we're gonna go here again i'm gonna go here again stanley was so bad at following directions it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago I feel like I might be able to get to that if I, uh... Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off, off on the wrong sooner? foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Ah! What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for each for others? Whoa. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, <laughs> to show you something beautiful. Look, let oh. me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Danger! Give me a chance. Danger everywhere. Okay, I'll give you a chance. Sure, go for it. Try to convince me. I'm waiting. Convince me. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. But how, this is just the same thing as before. Why would I go through the red door? I like blue's my favorite color. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating <laughs> properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Damn it, what have you done with my blue door? Oh, there it is. Blue door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. 
You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Uh -huh. Well, don't let me stop you. Oh. Oh, God. This is scary. I don't like you it. You see? There's nothing here. I don't like it. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Ooh. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Yeah. Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? <laughs> Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. Uh -huh. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work yeah. with me. You give me absolutely nothing so far. Dude, yeah. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. Ooh. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Now that's go a ahead, nice Stanley. looking door. Take it for a spin. That's a nice door. I like this door. I'll go in here. Office Space C alternate iteration. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, Tell me about your experience with this new version. Uh -huh. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Yeah, I think it was very, very good, yes. Aha! Yes. You see, more I choice. knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? You're welcome. How did I know the game needed a third door? Because I helped well, you. it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. All Let's right. take a look. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. <laughs> ah, you forgot a texture right there. You forgot a texture. Good old Neil, Skid, Nico, Nicho, Nacho, Voila, 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 Mr. Hayes, awesome thing. What? Did you know that 21.3% of players skip the intro sequence? Only the worst 3% of players chose the blue door. <laughs> yeah, right. How long did it take you to get to the correct door? Complete against others to improve your Stanley Parable experience. <laughs> You are ranked 9,328 out of 9,328. Why not ask some friends for help? <laughs> uh, I'll go in here again. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. No. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't are mind you... taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Are you even... Let me boot it up. Are you even listening to my... Oh! Ah! In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Don't do it, baby! Ah! Don't do it! Baby, don't do it! All right, go ahead, baby. Fine, go do it. Fine. You heartless bastard! <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? <laughs> because it's the matter. Well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. Uh... I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. You're the one that Thank made that game, playing. all right? Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Okay. Just to ease the pain. Let's see. Half-Life! <laughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. <gasps> Minecraft! Well, Is this any better? Oh. At last, the one thing you've always desired. I can't a jump. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? 
Why can't I this, even punch I'm the grass? I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here, no, here, and then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes... It's complete. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Tonight. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Okay, looks cozy. Isn't it grand? Safe from zombies. Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Okay. I like mining. It's my favorite part of Minecraft. Yes. Let's go. We're going to die from a creeper. This is this is awesome. Oh my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you Ooh. brought a light? We need we need coal. Get the coal. Would you have a pickaxe? Do you even know how to play this game? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than oh, I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something mm. that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. No, I love Even Minecraft. The diamonds couldn't save this one. Oh, no. Okay, new game. Aw, oh, I love Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! I yes! don't even know what this game is, but I love Woo! it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't <laughs> figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Ba -ba 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 I'm at home! I feel so at home. Oh, it's a puzzle. Yeah. Critical thinking, Stanley. Mm -hmm. Your forte. Yes. Beep. Genius. Well, that just verifies that this is in the same engine. Which I thought it was. No, actually, you I know you guys what? I think that. that's plenty. I really don't care what? much to see you stumble through any more of these games. Oh. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. Oh. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. I did beat so, the game. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. I don't need your ratings. And I certainly don't need the validation of a man whose job is to push buttons. <laughs> I think I'll just go about my business making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. And perhaps every now and then, I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he ever made. The thought won't last long. Goodbye, Stanley. Bye. Good luck with your work. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. Thank you. That's nice of you to say. Um... I would like to point out I did beat this game. This is Portal 1. And I did beat Portal 2. You can watch those Let's Plays on my YouTube channel. <laughs> anyway, I couldn't help but notice that there is things down there. But I also know that I don't have the Aperture Science boots on because I'm Stanley. So am I going to die? <laughs> am I going to die? <laughs> Well, there's no time like the present. We oh. oh, I'm fine. I guess I did have the boots on. Cool. Okay. Filing cabinets. Mm. This looks uh dusty. And a little spooky, honestly. A little spooky. Huh? 
dark and spooky. Uh, narrator guy? Hello? Am I meant to fall off into the darkness? Because I don't like the thought of doing that. I don't like it one bit, and I am not able to, uh, yump. So, you know, I guess I am meant to jump off into the darkness. Ooh, can I take that? You never know, I might need it. All right, well, um, all right, bye. Where am I? What have I done? Is this my office, but different? It's very dark. Maybe this is what the office really looks like, you know? Where is the narrator? I don't need him. I will narrate the game myself. Where am I going? I don't know. 509. Um, let's keep going down. Did I come from here? I don't know. I've just been wandering aimlessly this whole time. Oh, hey, look, the two doors. Hey, let's go in the wrong way again. Okay, and then this leads to the break room. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, but the, this is slightly different. Um. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, did I? Oh, okay. I'm very confused. Narrator guy? Uh, come back. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry that I've mistreated you. I actually, I need you to progress. Uh, I'm realizing that now. I apologize, and I would like to be friends, and I will play your games, and a dead end. Is it, what? How long you want me to wander around in here? It doesn't seem to lead to anything. Oh! Oh. Four, two, seven. Ooh, nice upgraded office. Very nice. Very cool. High tech. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, security cams. All right. Well, this is nice. What do I do with it? Nothing. I can't seem to click on anything. Oh. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. Mm. That is what I mean to this world. Mm -hmm, oh, mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. Really? So soon? I can wait. Oh. Uh-huh. Am I getting endings? Is that what's going on? Or is it like part of the game that it keeps resetting me. I, I assume I'm going to keep making progress, right? Because 
What happens if I go back down the same way again? Am I just following the same, like, rabbit hole every time? I don't know. It's very... It raises many questions. I think I'm going to end this episode here, though, because I think there's quite a bit left of this to explore. So I'm going to start in a new video. That was so cool. The bit with Minecraft and the bit with Portal. That made me so happy. Love it. Love it. So, um, this is really, really neat. I'm having a good time. Hope you guys are enjoying this little ride. Cheers. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And let me know what you'd like to see me play after this. Again, many good things have been suggested and I am writing them all down. So thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next video with more Stanley and his parable.